Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys. Whatever time y'all are tuning in, I certainly appreciate y'all are here. Thank you always for the support that y'all give me. Um, today, guys, I have a Boker USA. It's missing the emblem. You remember, I bought this at uh, the Roos Flea Market here last week. I, I know what this is. This is a Boker tree brand. That's right. Because it's, it's missing the emblem. Right? I bought it and had the shield. But they, don't. they're, they're bad about, about, uh, falling out. So what you want for this one? I give you a deal. It's ten dollars. Right, I'll, I'll, I'll do that for ten. And I had an extra emblem here because I like to save knife parts, and it's gonna come in handy right here. But what it does need to be cleaned up. It's got surface rust all over it, all over the blades. But uh, it's going to clean up very good, and we're going to glue that shield back in there. But you can tell it's got a bunch of surface rust. Uh, and I can already tell, I think it's going to have some good snap. But we fix to go there and clean this thing up. We're going to get all get rid of the surface rust here. I might be able to do a lot of it with my Dremel tool, but I'm going to hit it with my, um, my fabric wheel and my 3-inch grinder over there. See if I can't get most of it off, but I'm going to use the wheel to get down in there as much as I can. The wire brush wheel on my Dremel. Got it cleaned up really well. This is gonna be a good looking knife when I get done with it. I'm gonna use a screwdriver to try to scratch up this little surface rust here real quick. Then I'm going to get a small piece of sandpaper, 400 grit, and stick down in there and get as much of that uh, surface rust off as I can. Yeah. model number but Boker always uses that tree as a symbol as their symbol there same as on the shield here it's a tree and that tree that's on the back of this blade right there and there is a chestnut tree and this chestnut tree is the oldest symbol of the Boker family there is uh it was it it was a right beside and towering above the the little uh, hardware factory that they had over in germany in the 17th century this symbol dates back to the 1600s that's just amazing to me awesome awesome story kind of scratch it up a little bit get kind of roughed up I think that was leftover glue right here. See, that's going to stick right in there. Let me see how low it's going to go. Get this glue off. It ain't wanting to get a tight fit in there. Alright, I got the glue off of it. 
it really ain't wanting to fit down in there, y'all. I hope I'm... It should fit. It looks like it'll fit good. Maybe what was that glue? Mm. I gotta make sure it fits, but I think there's a glue in here, too. Okay, guys. I had to alter the hole a little bit. I had to use this drill bit and do it by hand. It wasn't quite big enough for the sh new shield <laughs> but you see there now I got it where it'll fit and it's going to be flush almost with that that's what you run into when you use parts from other knives sometimes you just have to make do with what you got and alter the knife you know a little bit more I think that's gonna work. It's gonna look good. Mm-hmm. Matter of fact, I'm fitting to get my Dremel too and kind of wallow it out some more. That's gonna look good. Hey, that's what it's gonna look like. It's pretty flush. Pretty flush. Okay, I always use the Gorilla Glue Clear. I've never had an issue with anything coming apart. It really does a good job. And you know why I also use this? Because you can go down to local Dollar General or Walmart and you can buy this stuff. When you're out, you just simply go buy more. And you're supposed to dampen this stuff a little bit when you use it. Dampen the surfaces. Alright. I think just a good little drop will work. Maybe two drops. Fill that hole up. We gotta clean off some extra glue. I know we are. dry now. Check it in a few hours. It should be good to go. Alright guys. It's dry. It looks good. It's almost flush. About as low as I could get it right there. So now I'm gonna oil it up. Give it the never dull treatment. Sharpen it. And we'll be done with this bad boy. Never do all treatment.
There she is, guys. New emblem on the the handle. Blades ain't hurt a bit. They're good and sharp now. They got good snap. You remember all that surface rust that was on the blades? It's gone. It's a beautiful knife. The the bolsters almost have a mirror finish. This knife has not been used that much at all in its lifetime. It's just a great looking knife now. Because it's got that emblem back. Had to waller out the hole a little bit. This is not the original emblem, of course. It wouldn't fit, but I made it do. It's almost flush, as you can see. It turned out good. But she cleaned up good. I know she would. She has brass liners, Darren handles. And it's a Boker USA. Beautiful knife. A lot better shape than when I found her. And she's remade in the USA. Well, guys, thanks again for tuning in. I appreciate all the support. This was a fun project. I really enjoyed it. I love saving parts and then being able to use them in a, a, a repair. So thanks again, guys. God bless y'all. Until we meet again, y'all be like a good knife. Stay sharp.